my life be like. Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, so what we're gonna do is a little more try-to weathering. Uh, I'm not skilled enough yet to say I'm doing a how-to. I don't want to tell anyone how to do it. I'm just showing you what I've learned uh, and I'm trying to do it. Uh, you know, I like the results of my last one there, uh, but we didn't do that on camera. So that's what I'm gonna try to do today. Uh, I'm gonna be working on this guy right here. It's just another CN box car. Um, it's one that I bought used. It's uh, again, someone's done a little bit of weathering, but not on the actual truck, uh, well, on the actual box part of the car, but uh, right on the truck, someone's weathered. I don't know if you can see it very well. Let me just uh, see if turning this light on won't give me any help. Uh, a little bit, but um, yeah, you can't really tell. But, anyways, someone's painted it brown, painted the wheels brown. Doesn't look that great, but. Uh, um, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna see what we can do with it. Uh, I've been looking at some prototype pictures. I couldn't find a picture of this box car that was kind of exact, but I did find this one right here. And that one is not exactly what I was hoping to find, but um, I mean, it's missing the, the CN uh, logo there. The number is a little different and I'm not, going to the steps of changing any numbers yet. I'm just trying to go for a used weathered look right now. Down the road, I'll probably be doing some renumbering. Um, I don't have anything like no stick on letters or anything numbers to put on right now, but um, we're gonna go with this one, uh, with that picture, just kind of going with that look it has, and you know, it's just giving me a little bit of a guide. So anyway, let's get started. Okay, so I've got the, uh, the fading all done. Um, I don't know if you can really tell, it's kind of hard to see it, but uh, it's, uh, looking from my point of view, it's, uh, it's pretty faded, but I mean, in front of the camera, it doesn't, hopefully it shows up on the computer, I mean, the camera doesn't really give it any justice, but uh, it's definitely faded, it looks more like instead of a brown, a little bit of a, a gray brown, which is exactly what we want for the process of fading. Uh, so my next step is, I just want to touch up with a bit of my mud mixture, Browns a little bit, that one right there, and uh, see what we. All right. So first of all, I want to get the top. So. I'm just trying to go with a, you know, it's been rained on. Okay, so I've used some of that mud mixture. Um, I was playing around with it because I'm still not sure how that mud mixture is working for me. Um, basically, uh, you can tell like by looking at this that it's obviously, uh, you know, dirty, used, grimy a little bit. Here's the other side. You can see the CN is all like nicely, you know, covered that it's been used, it's dirty. I went a little heavier on the bottom here with the mud mixture. I went across the top a little bit. You can see there, it's, that looks pretty good in the camera. I like the look of that. Um, and then I went along the bottom because you know they get dirty along the bottom. And uh, that's what I did. I just sprayed it over and kind of gave it a coating of the mud mixture. You can still tell that it was faded, uh, but it, now it looks a little bit dirty. So what I'm gonna do next is uh, add a, I'm gonna use a bit of uh, dark rust weathering powder uh, I'm going to use a little bit of grimy black um, and then I'll use a bit of dark earth just to make it again blend it a bit more into dirtiness. Right, so let's just try a bit of this uh, dark rust. I just opened it for my first time. so.
like the look of that. It's given that <laughs> looks almost like the picture. I was all worried about not being able to get that red, but you know, I like it. The reason why I was delaying this was because I was going to get some tape to tape off the uh, the original numbering on the car. It's some masking tape, and uh, I kept forgetting to buy it, so. get my practicing on weathering before I uh, go uh, too crazy on like the numbering and everything. There you go. You can see the uh, how nicely it's like red. Got that reddish dirty look to it. Now let's try some dark earth. Now uh, the roof, you know, that's what it looks like right now. It looks, looks pretty good. But let's just uh, make it still look a little more weathered. Pretty good, I like that. Now this is called grimy black. And boy is it black. So I think what I'm gonna do is get a little thinner brush. Now, let's see what this does. Okay, so I've got all that done there. You can kind of see that, uh, you know, it's got to, it's been rained on. You can see like the odd uh, streaks on there that has an effect. I like it. So when you use uh, clear, I can use it in a few days. So just give it a couple sprays. A couple of patches on it, someone painted some uh, darker brown on there. Uh, so I'm gonna do that on the door, uh, do it on both sides, assuming that it was done on the other side. You know, just gives it that look. There we go. So that's all I'm gonna do with that. And finally, just for the trucks. I am just gonna paint those burnt umber. Just uh, slap it on there and then throw a bit of dark earth over it just to give it that uh, rustic look. And then look. finally, the last step is take your wheels, and put them just like this. I have a paint pen, not an Elmer's, but uh, that Sharpie I've been talking about. Fine point. Uh, go like that, over there. So there we go, all painted up. And this one, I'll just take those. Can't really see it. I gotta really figure out my lighting. And I'm gonna use some medium. There we go. I'll put that all back together. You'll see the final. Okay, so there we have it. All done, all cleared, all put back together. Got my wheels back on there. I took all the paint off of them, shined up where they uh, are supposed to be shiny there, where they're touching the track. Um, you know what, for an everyday look, I actually really think this came out pretty nice. You know, it's, it's, it looks used, it's got a grimy look to it, and uh, 
have a look at some pictures here. So thanks for watching. I hope this helps some people who's just trying to learn. Um, I, every time I do it, I'm learning something new. And, uh, you know, we'll go from there. So we'll see you next time. Talk to you later. Low key and staying candid, reflect on all the things I try my hand at. Search for the equation to persuasions I'm used to. Find a comfort in the zones of classic bones I get loose to. A mountain is fontaine, spinning in monsoon and grinning this high octane. This blows about I came, rolling down the hills cause life's a hassle. It's circled by my folly like a moat around the castle. Stay afloat, catch a second wind, thin is the air I breathe. Teary eyed nose running, wipe the snout on my sleeve. I'm calling on the savior to be all that I need. Please forgive me, my behavior had me lost in life speed.